crowd right there in the Blitz Lounge. I like the way that looks. I like the way this looks too. Welcome one and all to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. That's the Blitz Lounge hanging out with us. I'm Lance Smith. Filling in for Eddie George is the one and only Keith Bullock. Good to see you, sir. Great to see you. Yeah. Great to see Listen you. Listen to that virtual yeah, crowd. Lounge. I, I like it. I like they it. They like so, it. It's new. It's new, right? As is everything this year. My friend, it's good to have you back. It's great to be back. Great to have me. A lot going on. Uh, I know you're, uh, you You got a business you're running now. Yeah, man. Coffee and waffles right now. It's crazy. <laughs> it's good, <laughs> it's though, fun. right? It's fun. It's real fun, yes. I want to talk more about that uh, later in the show, the whole opportunity and everything. Of course, we got a lot to uh, get to on this show, so uh, let's do what we do. We'll kick off the show. Thanks for the Blitz Lounge for being here and hanging out with us. We'll talk to them in a little bit. Uh, Titans fans uh, woke up to some rough news with the COVID list. Yeah. Obviously, I we heard we had two positives. It's actually one positive test, but still it's one we didn't want. That name would be uh, Corey Davis is now added to that list. So before we get into uh, our show and talk about things, let's go ahead and uh, break it down. I'll show you right now uh, the full COVID-19 list, uh, reserve list for the Titans. Cameron Batson, Kari Blasingame, Bo Brinkley, Kamale Correa. The list goes on, unfortunately. Corey Davis, as I mentioned, added to the list. Christian Fulton, tight end Tommy Hudson, wide receiver Adam Humphreys. And final page, I promise you, uh, Daquan Jones, Greg Maven, Jeffrey Simmons, and uh, rookie Isaiah Wilson still there on the uh, reserve COVID list. That's a lot of starters. It's a lot of players. A lot of players. Ouch. Yeah. I'm, yeah. Man, uh, this is a new time. You know, mm -hmm. we were joking earlier. You were joking with me about last time I was in a pandemic. I've never been in this situation. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So um, with that being said, um, the adjustment for Coach Vrabel, who we played at the same time, him being a head coach now, um, you know, this is all on the fly. So, uh, you know, the fans look to, look to us to know what's going on, mm -hmm. and that would be great if we knew, but right. we're just as much in the dark as them. There's a whole lot of uncertainty out there right now, that's for sure. All right, well, uh, let's, uh, let's continue doing what we do, though, and talk about what we know right now, and this is a Four Downs with Eddie, presented by uh, Course and Fire and Security. Of course, it's Four Downs with my man Keith right here. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's, it's, a, good, it's a graphic yeah, i got to no, read no, anyway. No. Four Downs with Keith. Eddie's good to, some, Eddie, you have someone good to follow behind. So right, right. right. Uh, so normally right at this point in the show, we're talking about the game that was, we had a, a bye week sneak up on us. Uh, so let's talk about where we are at this point in the season. We're a quarter of the way through the season. So let's, uh, let's break down this AFC South. We'll talk about the leaders of the AFC South right now, the Tennessee Titans, uh, with our first down. Yes. Yes. Hey, uh, we haven't been uh, undefeated at week five since 08. Yeah. Yeah, I you remember, remember that. that time. Yeah, for sure. All right, so uh, <laughs> let's talk about the strengths of this Titans team so far. Strengths being running the ball well. That's Absolutely. for certain. What, what, do you, what do you like about what you're watching on offense? Well, I, what I like about what I'm watching on offense is, like you just said, they're running the ball well. That means they're controlling the clock. Mm -hmm. They're able to control the tempo of the game. And then when you get late in that third, fourth quarter, even if the game is close, their running game has never slowed down. It right. only gets better. And those guys, um, obviously, without uh, preseason, uh, for whatever reason, it just seems offenses keep to be able to keep churning once, once they get it going and defense is um, – Weekend. Yeah, and we've also had a lot of like really clutch receiver play up till now. Unfortunately, with a lot of those names on that list being wide receivers, we'll see what Sunday looks like. But still, we've had a really nice clutch receiver game. Uh, the 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 Henry Tannehill tandem. Yeah. Working exceptionally well. Yeah, um, I love what I've been seeing out of Ryan Tannehill. It's one of those things where, okay, we expect Derrick Henry to go for 150 yards every game. That's not going to happen. Ryan, T Ryan Tannehill is a seasoned veteran at this point, and they've been doing a great job. He and Arthur Smith mixing in the play-action pass, taking shots downfield to loosen up the defenses mm -hmm. to allow that offense and the offensive line to do their thing and Derrick Henry to run behind those um, big guys up front. Yeah, yeah, well said. All right, well, obviously, and you know, we'll talk defense more as we go along. That's a, a point that needs to be yeah. addressed, but throughout the league, I think. Uh, moving on to second down, though, the second down here in four downs, we'll talk about the Indianapolis Colts. I think they are the team for us to watch in this division. Sure. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I definitely, I definitely say so. Uh, the Colts, they got off to what? It's This first month is like preseason right. games. That's how you have to look at it because they haven't had a preseason. So they lost to Jacksonville, who we beat 
But the Colts have been on a three-game win streak since then. Phillips Rivers is starting to get comfortable in what he's doing, and their defense is pretty stout. They have a number 53 over there, um, <laughs> Darius Leonard, that it's just hard not to notice the plays that he makes. Yeah, well, talk about – so Phillip Rivers right here coming uh, um, from the Chargers – uh, to make this switch, I mean, he is he's hitting on all cylinders early here. I didn't know if people were still expecting that. Would he lose anything? But he still gets the ball out uh, really quick. Uh, that's something to look out for, especially with our secondary, secondaries across the league sort of struggling. But you mentioned it, man. Uh, Darius Leonard, DeForest Buckner there on the other yeah. side of the line. I mean, that defense is the highest scoring defense in the league technically. So... Uh, what what is your suggestion coming from that side of the ball? How do you attack something like that? Um, I think you try and go right at them. You know they're gonna poke their chest out with some bravado, so you go right at them. So they're down in the box thinking Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry, and then like we said earlier, um, you hit them with that play action pass. Uh, mm -hmm. John U. Smith was playing well. You know get Corey Davis healthy, get A.J. Brown uh, yeah. back in the mix, and you know. Humphreys, all those guys, get them downfield, stretch the field. So big, uh, big Arthur Smith yeah. uh, job there, right? All right. Well, uh, moving on to uh, third down here and four downs. Uh, third down, we'll talk about the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. Mentioned them already. Uh, they're, you know, they came out of the gate looking strong the way they played the Colts. Yeah. Uh, but they fell apart. I mean, tough game against us. Definitely fell apart against yeah. Miami. And that, and you know, you're gonna see that um, from a young team. You know, those those first they won the first game. They probably felt they could have uh, beat us here when they played, but they didn't come out on top. And then it's a snowball effect. Now they're sitting there at 0 and 4 with some nice young talent. Right. But at the same time, um, it, there's it seems like that rebuilding situation is happening in Jacksonville, but. Think about the NFL, any given Sunday yeah. when you have talent, a uh, team can be victorious. So you don't never want to sleep on anybody. Yeah, no, that's true, especially in these divisional matchups. I know they're always played so close. Uh, but, yeah, Robinson and Chenault, uh, the rookies yeah. down there, doing a really great job with what they've got. And uh, finally, uh, who knew they'd be the last here in this, uh, this little talk we're having, the Houston Texans imploding, falling apart, whatever you want to call it. This is... Tragic, because yeah. there should be talent on this team. They should be doing something. I mean, there is talent. They were a playoff team last right. year. Obviously, they just fired their head coach, Bill O'Brien. They felt he was uh, the reason. But the team goes out, the players go out there and play the game. And, you know, granted, they played some tough games to start the season. Yeah. But um, there have been opportunities for them to win. And, obviously, the management saw that that fell on the coaches. But when you have a quarterback like Deshaun Watson, you should be able to pull some wins out, and we just don't want them to be against us as the season goes on. I take it from all that you just said, you would have kept Hopkins. Um, yeah, I GM. think so. When you have a young quarterback that's developing one of the best in the league, you don't get one of his favorite weapons. That's just like Kansas City getting re rid of Tariq Hill, and right. that does not make any sense. Just don't break it up. Why'd you do it? I don't know. Uh, he's gone now. All right. Good well, for us. <laughs> yeah, no, it's great for us, for sure. All right, we've got lots more to talk about. You guys know uh, 15 minutes can save you 15% or more on your car insurance. With that, we'll go to break with our Geico Fast 15. Stick around. Titans Blitz. We'll be right back. There they are. There they are. Play fake. Throw in. Pruitt. What a catch. Michael Pruitt. Can't you? Firing right side ball tipped up in the air. Intercepted Fulton. Give it to Henry. He goes flying through the air like Superman. Touchdown, Titans. He needs two yards to keep this game moving on. You see what you're made of when you go through something tough. Steady rainfall. And yeah, it's been a tough year. But Tennesseans are built for this. Grit passed down through generations. We look for it. We like it that way. Football is back, baby. Tough. Tennessee tough. Got them having a good time in the comfort of their own home. Like the Blitz Lounge there. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Halftime here on the show. I'm Lance. This is all-pro linebacker Keith Bullock. Uh, recently, uh, listen, I've been missing playing games with these fans not being in the stadium, uh, but I brought a, uh, a favorite game that we play in the stadium to Beverly right there who's in the Blitz Lounge. So here's how she played uh, our Academy Beat the Clock. Check this out. Go Beverly! <laughs> 
I am hanging out now with a season ticket member I know so well from the 22nd Element, the Facebook group for season ticket members. Uh, Beverly, how you doing? Doing well. I'm very excited. Glad to be here today. Thanks for having me. What a season we've had so far, huh? This game's been exciting. It's incredible. Yeah, they're doing really well. Yeah, so happy for the start we've had this season. All right, well, obviously, this is a little unconventional. We play these games on the field. We're going to play a little Academy Sports and Outdoors Beat the Clock. Are you ready? Can you handle this pressure? I'm ready. All right. Let's go. We've got Duke involved. Duke, tell her what she's betting on. Head out to your favorite picnic spot with your meal packed in the Igloo Trail Made Journey 70 Quart All Terrain Cooler. Designed with a padded glove box, serving tray, food basket, and two accessory holders for versatile storage. This cooler offers oversized, never flat wheels and a padded telescoping handle for easy portability. All right, Beverly, that igloo cooler is what you're bidding on. You have to guess the exact price. If you hit the price on the head, we're going to give you a $100 gift card to Academy Sports and Outdoors. You guess the price. I'll tell you high or low. 20 seconds on the clock. Here we go. 100. Higher. 150. Higher. 200. Lower. 175. Higher. 180. Higher. 185. Higher. 190. Higher. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. At the Blizzard, he got it, 199. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Thank you. That's crazy. Congratulations, Beverly. You earned it. I like a buzzer beater. That's very Titan-esque. You are a Titans fan. I am. I am. So excited. Right. Tighten up. Yeah. There you go. Good Woo! job, Beverly. <laughs> Thanks for the she was even nervous watching the second go around. She knew she won the whole time. Uh, all right, well, uh, hey, we're going to go to this real quick. On the other side, we'll talk about this Bills game. Uh, but uh, you have been here a while. We were, we're putting young artists oh. up to a challenge to see if uh, our current Titans players can judge their art, we'll say. Anyway, here is Vague Van Gogh, presented by Coca-Cola. you like this. Yes. Okay, what do we have here? Mm, mm, mm. Man. <laughs> Man, I'm just laughing at this nose right here. Oof. A mustache going on. This is very um, artistic. This is something, you know, when you, you go to the art show or something, they put this paint right there on the wall. You're trying to figure out what's going on, who it is. By the hair. And the nose, and it looks like a vest. Mm. Taylor LeJuan. So off rip, just by this mustache that's right here, and this cut, it's only one answer, and that's Coach Vrabel. What you're seeing is Coach Vrabel, who just somehow fell into like an ice tub, because his hair is kind of low, not really spiking up with the gel like he likes it. Uh, his, his token sweater with the long sleeves, the little vest and uh, a smile on your face, which you know we hope to see more often this year. I hope I'm able to get this one. This is a, this is a very good representation of me missing an ear. I think this is Mike Bravel. Check it out. And look at that. Coach Bravel. Mike Bravel. <laughs> I know what gave it away. <laughs> the nose. <laughs> My bad, coach. <laughs> yeah, looking fat, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go home and puke right now. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. Lance Smith hanging out with Keith Bullock, Mr. Monday Night. It's a Wednesday. 
It's two-minute warning here on the show. Uh, let's talk about this game coming up. We don't know what's going to happen, but right now there's a game happening on Sunday, so I'm going to talk about it. These Bills, they're tough. Yeah, man, they're playing great football. Josh Allen seems like he's been able to find his groove. He has a big-time receiver in Stephon Diggs. Yeah. Um, what, he's thrown 12 touchdowns with one pick. So that's it. Beware the air assault, really the first key. You said it. I mean, it's funny. When Josh came into the league, you know, he had an arm, had a cannon. We knew it, but he was known for running because he's a big boy. But yeah. he is, uh, he's really lighting it up in the air. And like you said, Stephon Diggs, he's got uh, John Brown, he's got some speed back there. Uh, Cole Beasley, clutch third down receiver. I didn't think the Bills would be an air assault team. I didn't, but there they are. Yeah, I mean, you don't think so, but to what you said, he's been known as a runner early in his, in his career, and he still can run. He still yeah. does that very well, but with those additions of the d deep threat, Stephon Diggs and the Cole Beasley and the John Brown deep threat, I think it's just giving him the spacing he needs to be able to yeah. show, show that arm that we know he's had. Now, I, I, you know, as a defensive guy, I mean, we were talking about this a little off-camera before the show. I, it seems to me, uh, league-wide, defenses are just they're, they're a little slower to start because they didn't get a preseason. They didn't get an off season yeah so are the bills just more or less taking advantage of that right now um i think that um offenses are just a little further along just because of the fact that look there's a lot of communication that goes on the defense if i'm a defense coordinator i might come out vanilla i'm not trying to throw too many blitzes i'm trying to do what i can do with my first front four pass rush um and yeah i agree offenses yeah. are definitely taking advantage of that uh, second and final point here, which I think is a major key to beating the Bills, own the clock, and you do that by giving Henry the ball, right? Sorry, might be, it might even be a weather game. Feed the big game. fella. Feed the big fella. If it's a weather game, that's what you need to do. Just feed the big fella, play action pass, short to control the clock with the first downs. When you get in the red zone, be efficient. Mm -hmm. Bill goals are good, too, because you got to remember, they have to play with the elements as well. Mm -hmm. So that's how you're going to negate that air attack by slowing the ball down when the top Titans have the ball offensively and yeah. you know that's what I want to see one of those old school grinded out yeah, gritty Titans wins in the mud in the mud let's get it <laughs> he knew how to do it he knew how to do it uh no it's a it's a it's a winnable game even with all the guys we've got out uh I like our chances here all right we'll talk a little bit more with Keith Bullock on the other side stick around Titans blitz we'll be right back <laughs> In a virtual way, <laughs> welcome back to the Titans Blitz presented by Farm Bureau Health Plans. It's now overtime here on the show. Been hanging out with our Blitz Lounge folks. And I'm hanging out with all pro linebacker Mr. Keith Bullock. Dude, it's so good to see you again. Uh, you've been busy, though. Yeah. Running a business. Tell me about Just Love. Yeah, man. Um, uh, I got into business when I was done playing. And I've been doing business for a while. And I wanted to bring and be a part of something here local, a uh, local business. Mm -hmm. And Just Love is a local business, a uh, local coffee brand out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. We have our own roaster. Um, a portion of the proceeds um, from the founder, Rob Webb, he started it because he has two adopted daughters. Um, right. And a portion of the proceeds goes towards adoption as well as foster care um, now that I'm aboard. and. What I brought you is one of my signature blends that will be coming out for the holiday season. I did that myself. I did the cupping. Um, I love it. Everything that goes into it. So um, fans and people will be able to get that soon. So, yeah. It's They'll be able just, to pick this up uh, um, at Just Love? Yeah, at Just Love, at my signature store at Just Love McEwen in Franklin. But obviously we'll have online sales and everything. Um, portion of proceeds goes to adoption and foster care. Which I know is really close to your heart, the system you grew up in. Yeah. So that's fantastic. I, I Talk to me real quick. We've only got about a minute left. How important is it for players right now in their career, rookies, five-year, ten-year vets, to kind of have an idea of the things they want to get into like this outside of football? Yeah, I think um, it's very important. When I played, uh, I took several courses, um, one at Harvard, one at Wharton, one at Stanford, just to see what I liked outside of football when it came to business because I know that I was accumulating, um, you know, a lot of money, and I just want to know what direction I wanted to go in. And I think it's important for players um, to take that time in the offseason to explore what they like and figure things out because we all know football isn't forever. Yeah, no, it's not. But, man, 
It's so good while it lasts, and it was so fun to yes, watch you on that yes, field with those Thanks. red gloves. Always got to see them with red gloves. Uh, Mr. Monday Night, Keith Bullock, thank you so much for uh, joining us here. Blitz Lounge, thank you for being here. As always, tighten up. We will see you next week with a win. Yeah.